battered. Wow. Shut down now, that's a shame. Jeez. I promise you, I promise you there was a red herring t-shirt for a fiver. The quality was poor. Lots of like flaws and damages and things like that. No, all the springs are dead on that. I don't sleep very well, so last night I took some melatonin. We ordered it from America. It took about two weeks and it came last night or yesterday. The pack says take one. I obviously took two. The pack also says take half to see how you respond. It's now 8.25. I've missed the car boots out and I feel groggy as hell. But I had a good sleep. So big shout out to Project Weaver. He brought something to my attention again. I did see it a little while ago, but I completely forgot about it. And he mentioned about another charity shop that had opened recently. Quite a big one. So my plan, it doesn't open till 10 o'clock. So my plan today is to do a little bit of work here now. Like I said, it's half past eight at the moment, 25 past eight. So I'm going to get a few things listed while I wait. And at about half nine, quarter to 10, I'm going to head over there. It takes me about 25 minutes to get there. And it's a big one. And I'm going to take the GoPro with me today. So make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be the first time doing a proper charity shop video with a GoPro and a hunting video. Normally, I just pop into my local with my phone and show you little bits and here and there what I get. So we'll see how that one goes. Today's order is I'm going to get these Action Man bundle photographed and well, everything's getting... When I say listed, what I mean by that is I'm getting it photographed. I'll end up listing it later. So I've got a big Action Man bundle today. My mindset is clear stuff that's on the shelves and like these boxes all need listing so clear a box list it clear a box list it to clear the space and transfer it across over into the listed boxes which as you can see there's lots of spare space i'm waffling that's the job i'm gonna crack on with that honestly feel like i've been punched in the face by tyson oh i haven't shown you yet my listing area it's a bit dark and it's a bit dark with just these ones here as well so if we press this little button just here oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was cool. I actually got way ahead of myself then. It's now 25 to 10. So I need to get going if I'm going to go over there. Managed to clear that gap down there. Yeah, my arm's in the way. Managed to clear a gap. Got a Playmobil bundle done. Got an Action Man bundle done. Got a few random vintage toys done like Max. Mighty Max. And the thought of going over there now... Is actually filling me with dread because I'm like, bro, you've got so much stuff. But I just want to go and do something a little bit different. I missed the car boot sale this morning. That's pissed me off. So I think that's why I want to go over. So I think, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go. Let's go find some bags. Ikea bags at the ready. Let's go do this. Right, let's go for a drive. We're all strapped in. Fuck, I went in there to get a fucking Ikea bag, not my camera. For sake. <sighs> it's in the fucking car anyway. Honestly, mate. Just a dick. Can't be arsing myself sometimes. Let's go. I'm not even joking, without fail, I always forget where I'm going in this place. I normally go up some stairs, then back down again, back up again. So I'm gonna try and nail it in one go. Ooh, a new one. Hello. What we got here then? Temple lifts. Sexy. I'm guessing I wanna to go to, uh, I don't even know street level but i think i want to be inside still so i don't really know to be honest we'll find out oh look at the graphics ground floor shit i think i've gone down Doors open. yeah this looks like it beautiful so for anyone wondering this is the kennett center in Newbury, and it is honestly the deadest center in the world. It's like one of them centers that are just hanging on by a thread before they disappear for good, because everything inside is closing up. Right, mate, <laughs> nosy. Everything inside is like closing up by the day. That used to be a charity shop. Yeah, all right, well, I'll, um... oh, there it is, we found it. Let's go and take a look. Wow, it's massive. Absolutely hench. I want to check out the men's clothes first. This is wham. Six pound for a standard judo. See, he said it was new. He didn't say it was going to be good. Trashed condition. 
Out of interest, how much do they charge them for a boss? No price tag. Five pound for a vintage Timberland zip up weather gear. Probably late to mid nineties. Just the wrong weather for it at the minute, but that's not bad. It's a nice Euro T. What's that company? Not too sure on the Euro tag. How much are they charging for a planey? Two quid, that's not bad. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Three quid for a Kleine. There's that brand again. So I'm going to say the men's section is a bit dead today, but I think it's a matter of just obviously finding the stuff as and when. It's a nice jacket. I mean, there's even settees and sofas. There's me. I think you need to spend a bit of time in it. I'm doing a quick scour first. And then I'll... I'll dig a bit deeper. There's a whole furniture room. Yeah, like I said, the men's area was a bit dry. There's furniture everywhere though. There's TVs, there's sofas. Toy section. That's an older boy. See, these are called worry things. If you have a worry, you're supposed to put it in there. Sometimes you'll find little kids' worries inside. <laughs> Tat, I'd normally buy that. That's a bootleg Spidey. 50 pence each. Ten pound. No, thank you. Touch that. Gemi. Some of you will know Gemi's really good. Three pounds as you work. It obviously does something, but does he work? Missing a battery. Let me look him up. No signal. I'll hold on to him for a minute. Lots of plush over here. Probably gonna need a torch for that. There we go. Let's get a torch on for this. Yeah, I think we'll get him. Definitely worth a pickup. Hopefully he's working. He's missing the battery pack, but we'll have a go. This is where somebody's got keener eyes than me and they spot stuff. Yeah, you left it. It's three hundred pounds, Eddie. Oh, no, do I? We'll take you, though, mate. This is that Olaf come apart. Yeah, tempted. That's cool. That's cool. You know, I love the burbs. Henry Huggle monster. You don't really see the Ty people, do you? You should have picked up the Ty. Laura Dinosaur. I think that's a St. Michael's. I've cut the tag off though, but it is a St. Michael's uh, thingy. Henry Huggle Monster. Not worth it for a pound. 
That's nice, I bet that's a silver cross as well. Who's it? Wilson. Very nice. Alright, so here's all the electricals. This should be fun. I'm not going to name any names, but you know who you are. There's quite a bit here. And there's an idea on price for a blackberry. It's never been used, that, ain't it? Still got the plastic on it. Ten quid. Normally, but not with the boot sale back on. Well, how, well, I don't think it's for the mini disc system actually. I might have to SSD one. Now all the springs are dead on that. I thought it was okay to put that out. I might even touch it. That's quite cool. 13 quid. That looks like DIY and furniture type stuff. Old album. Jesus. I said nick that off my mother. Can't do it. With the boots with the booties back on, I can't. Outside the season, I would. Well, I have to show them that and I that would have been quite cool as well, I think. What is it? Melamine butterware tray. Two quid down the pan. I have to show them that. So that three quid monkey's just cost five quid. That would have been quite nice as well if it would have uh, survived the fall. Perfect slice, JNLs. Don't think there's much out of four quid on them though. I just feel like it might be a pickup. I think it'll be a quick 10 quid on vintage. No. That would have been cool. Blech. Christmas, no, get away. Oh, there's another road just here. I've actually got a feeling about this shop and I'll, I'll tell you about it when I get outside. I've got a theory. I've got a theory. All right, let's get out of here for a minute. Thank you, you have a good day. So. The, the melamine part, I said to him, I've, I just broke this, I don't want it, but I'll pay for it if you want me to. He said, no, 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 it's okay. So that was really kind of him. Uh, I need to go to the toilet because I can't focus. But I'm going to go outside. I'm going to head out to the... I'm going to head out to the um, main shopping centre outside because outside there's, bit, there's a few more bits as well. Like, I'm not just going to leave it there with that. Fucking monkey and a dog so i'm gonna head out try and find some toilets and then go check out the other ones it's in a bit i've just remembered there's another one here but it's normally quite shit it's like books and stuff but we'll have a quick look in there anyway it's 
so I mean it's like just books, furniture, teddy bears, things like that. An old vintage busy card. Mm, 40 quid for a bungee track master. Nah. But I still couldn't find my toilet. But let me give you my theories on that charity shop. I think that place is taking up all of the stuff that's not selling in all the other ones from around maybe Newbury, Thatcham, Tadley, wherever else, and just putting it into there because the quality was poor. Lots of like flaws and damages and things like that. Lots of bits and pieces wrong with stuff and like smeggy and just stained. So I think that's where they're getting their stuff from. Could be wrong. If the manager or whatever ends up watching these videos and you put me straight, put me straight. But that's what I think. I think you're buying up all the excess charity stock and flogging it in yours. I'd go in there again, but not like, I wouldn't make my way out. I wouldn't make a journey specifically for it. There's a few up here that I want to go try. Price is always through the roof, always. The classic start, British Art Foundation. Let's have a browse. What are these delights? Fake Nikes. Amazing. Looks rough though, that does, doesn't it? Might be right. Battered. Wow. <laughs> it's quite nice looking. No price tag, so I, dare, I daren't ask at the till. I promise you, I promise you there is a red herring t-shirt for a fiver. <laughs> okay. I only shop at Callum's collection, unfortunately. Tommy Jeans, 15. So we've got some Amazon Essentials, 7.50. Union, top man. I'll just get my bag, mate, before yeah. they try and stick it on the shelf. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave the Valentine, mate. Sorry, mate. Do you get a lot of Top Man donations? Have you got like a contract with Top Man? No, he just happens to have a lot of Top Man. Oh. I've been joking. Jeez. That is fucking cool though, man. What size is that? XL, large. I think it's a um, collaboration thing. Okay, thank you. British Heart Foundation are fucking amazing. I don't know how they get the bollocks to even do it. Well, surely they're going under. Surely they're. Surely something has to be wrong there. They must be not selling stuff. Surely. Surely. Let's go and see if cancer research are any better. I doubt it. I doubt it. It's all about the little mini mum and pops, isn't it? It's a nice vintage tea, but it isn't priced and is it really worth much? And it's a small. But it's cool though. Nice little find. Love the colours, love the graphics. Tiny size though. And if it's six pound for an e-spirit. I used to live in these. Honestly, one of the best shirt brands ever. That's when I had a body. Now I've just got a barrel. It's not terrible.
This will be fun. No price tag. Do I even ask? Oh, there it is. Checks out. What in the no low is that? <laughs> Let me guess. Yep. Wow. Tech place. Jesus. Sorry, my man. Thought I saw some bigger gap. Okay, thank you. There's a couple more that I want to try up here, but I think I've got my answer, haven't I? I, <laughs> I always knew though that these town centre ones were always going to be through the roof. Now you have to remember, I've not been in like the circuit of the charity shops out for ages, and you do, and you can catch them slipping, but some of those prices are you fucking insane. But then again, you know, for the end consumer, 35 quid for a Polartec barber, it's not too bad, is it? 22.50 for that Man City Tech. Don't know, man. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but you can't beat the mum and pops, man. They're always good there. These little big, these big chains here, like the um, British Heart Foundation and the Cancer Researchers. No, fucking, look how busy it is today. If I remember rightly, tucked up this alleyway for about a 10 minute walk, there is a Salvation Army run by like one little old granny. So we'll go and try that out, see if we can get there. There it is down there, can you see it? Let's see if it's open. It's probably fucking lunch bra. It looks like the shutters are down. It's probably closed down for good by the look of it. That might be a shop worth getting. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's closed down. Shut down now, that's a shame. I used to love that one. Proper, you know what I'm talking about, like mum and pap, whatever, you know, you know the, the way they look at it. They're the ones that I'm talking about where you can get like nice little bits from. Did a bit of fishing boy. You caught anything? You caught, you caught trout? Ah. Did, they, did they let you take him out of here? No, nah, you're not allowed. Oh, is that over there? Oh no, you, what, you're trying to tease the trout out? Yeah, trying to get in there, yeah. <laughs> what, so the fish, they sort of stay in the same area? They sort of, yeah, they, 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 they like have a home, if that makes sense? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, when they, they, they come for the food, then... That's the only thing they come to really. Oh, I like it. Well, good luck, mate. Yeah, mate, take care. I'll be real, they have got some nice little... Fucking okay, no, hell, a bit risky, innit? There's some nice little scenery around here. I'm a bit scared that my fucking phone's going to go in, though. Well, there's some nice little spots to go sit there. A couple up there on the bench, look, chilling out. Shame about that charity shop, though. This is one of those trees I reckon you can... No, you can't punch that one. Newbury's a lovely, lovely place. It's just one of them places where, you know, it's got the old feel about it still. Still got the vibe. There's a university. All come over here as well. They all come and do their drinking at the weekend. See, look at how boutique it is. Look at it's rammed. It's rammo today. Oh, sorry, squeeze a gap. There's a lot of bits, sorry, man. There's a lot of bits I would usually grab, but just tat. Never seen that before. Oh. Standard. Don't know where they get their prices from. No. That's a no. <laughs> More on your way there, mate. No, no, you crack on. Three controllers, one power pack, chargeable battery. 21 games. 75 squidder. Not 
The funniest thing is, I've just had to do a battery change. A battery change, and I've spent four pound on two pieces of shitty stuff. <laughs> Got a little Oxfam just there. This one's normally tripping as well, but we're here, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. There must be a charity shop there today. Oh man, spray spray right, there. Thank you. Shams are small. Dina Jordan. Very well constructed, but who is it? It's missing the shoulder strap, I think. Is that what it says? Well, listed's a good button. Soles are not. There's another one there. Chilton Via Moda. More on your way. Scared to find the price on them, twelve ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Charity shops. Definitely won't be incorporating charity shops as a main source of my products going forward. I'll nip into my local ones because they're great. But like I used to, I used to come over here once a week and I'd fill up bags and bags and bags of stuff. Not anymore. So we've got scope to look into then and then dogs trust. Oh, maybe not scope anymore. Another one that's fucking closed down. And you know why they're closing down. You know why. This is going to be a domino effect. One after one after one after one after one. And before you know it, there'll be like one shop per town. There'll be like a police station, one every four towns. <laughs> All right. Let's go try Dog's Trust, then we can get the fuck out of here and go home. Naomi's house next. Hello. So I actually got a nice jacket from here once before. $6.50. Don't say $6.50 on there for a prime hunt. You look like you've got a wife in there or something. Not happy. Oh, I need some jumpers and t-shirts. Good morning. T-shirts, size XL, small. I promise you that's not a typo. That's nice. Might grab that for a five. bit more than what I'd like to, but I think I will. I like that. I like these, just as like everyday t-shirts. But what is that? Do you know what I mean? Probably a little bit too... I remember when James Collects picked up a bag or a coat with that on it, thinking it was actually like a Sega Game Gear thing. Sorry. Bobbly as hell. 8% cashmere. Fashion jeans. Ticks. Oh, pulled it off. Hopefully, I can find one for a retro shell. 
That's where he finds all of his good ties in there. <laughs> that is cool. It's an older one as well. I might have to for that. Yeah, it's when they feel we're good. Flex is a bit gone now. Flex is a bit dead. I need to buy something else to average down this t-shirt from a fiver. <laughs> the main characters just don't shift. Oh, what's the hat? Yeah, okay. That is a cool mirror. Are you sure it's not for sale? What are we looking at, sorry? Up there. Are you sure that's not for sale? No. Come on. Right, so that was, you know, it was all right just for a little wander around, wasn't it? And we got a little video out of there, but I think using it as a, like I said, implementing it as a main source, not around here anyway, especially not. It used to be really good, really good. Uh, I'll probably, probably dox him now, but Retro Reseller will attest to that. I mean, he still finds some good bits, but he's local, so he can come here all the time. I'm not. So I'll get home, I'll show you a couple of bits that I have got. I'll, I'll make more money by being at home, photographing my stuff, do you know what I mean? So, there's a McDonald's over there, do or don't I? Hmm, I'll let you know. So, I did it, I did, but I need to use the bathroom. I'm not eating from here at the minute. Fun fact, I used to work for that company just there, but the one in Winchester, quality company. Big up Martin and Ollie. I'm back home. I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the charity shops. <laughs> this will be quick. Weird angle, but it is what it is. So let's just not beat around the bush. You saw most of it. Five pound I paid for this Oakley top. It is like a golfy kind of top, really nice little logo on the front. Chunky silver block work here with some shrubs running through it. Barely, barely any pulls at all, like some minimal ones across the bottom. Nice little hit on the back as well. Should be able to squeeze 15, 18 quid out of that. Today was just a test run. I wanted to go and see what the shops were like again. I haven't been over there for ages, the best part of the year. I took a gamble on this one. I haven't got any batteries to test it, but it's a Gemi Bear. Now, Gemi Industries do a lot of the Halloween, Christmas kind of moving decorations and things like that. They're quite well known and quite well sought after. This one is missing the battery cover and it is missing a battery to test, but it looks clean in there. So hopefully if it's working, you look at about 20, 25, depending on how sought after they are at the time, but they like swing. They do all this kind of jargon and do all this kind of stuff. Three pound paid, hopefully let's say 15 quid back. That'd be nice. Hoping for a bit more, obviously. Victoria's Secret Pink Dog. It's like a leather, fake pleather. Has got a sticker on it and it is that kind of vinyl leather. So we're going to peel it off together and see if we can do it without wrecking it. I've got a funny feeling it is going to trash it. I fucking knew it. Look, already. Pulling already. So I'm going to leave that. Yeah, it's trashing it. I'm going to leave that and try and get it off with a bit of water, I think. Fucking stupid. Uh, otherwise, it would have been about eight or ten quid. I just picked it up to average down the price of things. So I spent five, six, seven, eight, nine. I spent 11 quid in total today. And this Loren, Ralph Loren scarf, it does have the tag starting to come off. It was two pound. It has the horse bit champy design. Quite, quite sort after. Has a couple of, it's not holes. They're like wearing thin of the fabric just there. Does that make sense? And it is only the thin neck one. It's not the big square one. But for two pound, probably gonna vinted it for like 18 quid just to get it shifted fast. And that's all I picked up today. Terrible, 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 terrible. I went into the new one. Well, I say no, it's been there about a year apparently. I spoke to the people that were there. I went to British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research, Oxfam, Dogs Trust, and another one. As you saw, Scope and Sally Armies had closed down. It's just the way charity shops are going at the moment. Anybody who wants to fight their corner and say otherwise are deluded. I'm not just talking about from a reseller perspective. I'm talking about from a business price on the tags perspective. That's what happens. You price yourself out the market, your shops close down. 
yes, they'll be okay. They'll have online stores. They'll just move completely online. They won't care. They'll just have donation centers. They won't even be selling it in the shop. Or they probably will have a shop because why have a donation center with a shop floor and not capitalize on it? But let's say there's 10 charity shops in an area. They'll get rid of nine and just keep the one. So uh, that's the way I see it going. Charity shop prices, shit. Yes, you can catch them slipping. No, I will not stop going in there. I will always go into them, especially, like I say, my favorite ones and the most reasonably priced ones for resellers and public use alone are the independent charity shops. These big ones are smoking all of the drugs, feeding their fat cat CEOs. That's all they care about. And yes, all I care about is my pocket as well. You know, you can come at me and say, well, they're not for you. Cherry shops are not made for you. They're made for whoever the fuck wants to use them. And let me tell you, we put a lot of money into them shops as, as resellers. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. I appreciate you watching. Just getting myself set up around here, getting myself sorted out. Anyway, I've got a few Facebook Marketplace pickups on the way, so I need to get gone. Hope you enjoyed that. I wouldn't know because I haven't done a charity shop video like that with the GoPro for a very long time, so my angles could all be off. But regardless, appreciate you watching. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye.